and on the victims and their families. The tearing down of the Berlin Wall was brought home today at the University of Missouri in St. Louis. The school joined some 30 colleges and universities around the country, marking the 20th anniversary of when the wall came tumbling down. Reporter John Auble was there as the students today mark the occasion. Total border around the West Berlin, 27 miles. The concrete wall, 12 feet high. UMSO students turned out, along with high schoolers from all over Missouri. They came to remember the wall and hear, many for the first time, the Mr. words of Gorbachev Ronald Reagan at the Brandenburg Gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Students rushed through a wall imprinted with the German word for freedom. They symbolized the East Germans who came in droves back on November 9, 1989. Hundreds of them, eventually thousands. It was the end of the Cold War, the beginning of a fully united Europe, and proof that peaceful change is possible, even in the moments when it seems most unlikely. The observance impressed Dr. Bernard von Merchow Pohl, who runs the German Information Center in Washington, D.C. He says concrete souvenirs from the wall are just about everywhere. There are quite a lot of places here in the U.S. that have pieces. One is in Fulton. Uh, Missouri, for example. Larry Marsh runs UMSO's German Cultural Center. The teachers care about it. Virtually every German teacher in the country has gone to Berlin at some time and knows exactly what it means. From here, many went to Fulton, home of Churchill's famous Iron Curtain speech, to visit the huge section of the wall there. Westminster College in Fulton joined UMSO as the only two schools of Missouri to celebrate the anniversary. Let us rejoice and celebrate freedom without walls. In Normandy, John Auble, News 11. Ida, no longer a hurricane, but the